everyone, welcome back to Azure with Nick and John and special guest Kyle. Post three videos a week, so check out azart.space for the audio and video links. If you like the boys, go to our website, azart.space. We got cool merch from the boys. We got t-shirts, we got coasters, and we got deep fakes. Watch our deep fakes. We got Henry Cavill as Homelander and much, much more. But now let's jump into season three predictions slash spoilers. We have some big, big things to talk about. We have Homelander's son, who's going to be a total wild card, who could come back and kill his father. Who knows? Just throwing it out there. <laughs> crazy stuff, right? We have the new politician that has powers to pop anyone. <laughs> so, <laughs> And we got the boys. You know, they they like they're all separated. Maybe they'll reassemble to avenge someone like the uh, the Avengers. Who knows? There's so much comic book reference, and we got Soldier Boy coming into the mix, a new hero. All right, let's jump into it. Does anyone have any crazy theories they want to shout out there, or any predictions? Well, well so my first thought, it's kind of a question, is what do you guys think about the Congresswoman and how she can pop people's heads? I mean, so she popped uh, the other race, the A-Train nemesis guy's head. So she can pop Soup's heads. Why didn't she? I mean, you could think she could do that to anybody, which makes her kind of more powerful than Homelander and everybody else if she could do that to anybody. Hmm. But, I mean, I wonder if it works like Homelander's lasers. Where line like, of sight? Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a line of sight thing slash like Stormfront was able to take the lasers kind of thing because she was at a, like a different power level. So maybe because mm -hmm. Homelander's so strong, if she tried to like pop it, maybe she doesn't have enough like mind powers to pop it. I think of it as Professor X and like the Phoenix Force. Remember like how Professor X is like super strong. He could read anyone's mind, but it was like to the point where he's like, Aah! like he kind of kind of concentrate and stuff like that. So I don't know. That's the way I kind of see it where she's not, like, she's like a, a level how did he four sound again? and he's Just... like a level five, if that makes any sense. Cause you know, like the mutant scale is like one to five or whatever. And I think <laughs> Professor X is a four and like the Phoenix Force or Jean, Jean, Jean Grey is a five. I think that's how it goes. I think Mag Magneto's even a four too. Don't quote me on this. Mm. Kyle's the expert. He'll tell you right now. Kyle, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what do you think, Kyle? In terms of uh, what are you popping, saying about the heads the, explosion? The popping yeah. brains. <laughs> so, so yeah, I. It's interesting. We haven't been given an example in which uh, she hasn't had line of sight. Like maybe mm. she's looking at a video monitor or something. Oh, right. Interesting. We haven't seen a demonstration of that uh, because every instance we we've seen, we know now that mm -hmm. she had line of sight or she was at least in the vicinity. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So maybe mm -hmm. maybe that's a hint at the range of her power. But she is smart because she's anonymous. No one knows it's her yet, mm -hmm. and yeah. she is a really damn good ac actress, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, when she was popping heads in that in in that Senate hearing or whatever, she looked very frightened. Like yeah. she's like, she was what's going away, on? Right? Yeah, she was running away. Yeah. She also had just that look of like, oh, my God, mm -hmm. what's happening? <laughs> yeah. And she was popping the heads because I guess I went back and rewatched it. She's looking at like oh, people. Is she? Like they they, oh. they, they they even connect it wherever she looks and then like stuff happens and stuff like that. So oh, I mean, they're, they're, oh. even the one where like, you know, um, where they like take her to try to, you know, you know, save her or whatever. She like looks back and then like the person right in front of the camera's head explodes and stuff like that. Oh, too. okay. Okay. So, so she is always looking that direction when yeah. it happens. Mm -hmm. Okay. But huh. like, I'm, I'm, you know, I think she technically works for Vought. <laughs> I think she's like one of the deep cell people like, like Vought knows about her or something like that where she's deep in with Vought because like now that I think about it, it's like she wanted to keep getting more information out of the boys right do you have any other witnesses do you have anyone else that's able to do this if she can knock out all the information of people that would be able to pro you know to be able to protest or not protest but testify against Vought, she's able to mm -hmm. like take them out that's why like lamp lamplighter she's like is there anyone else is there anyone else that would do this like even though she had lamplighter and they're like well maybe there's someone else like she's slowly trying to weed out all the people that can actually mm -hmm. harm harm the company so you, you know, wow, I don't even think that's a crazy theory at all. I think that's actually a pretty well thought out theory. Yeah. Uh, but it's me, which means it's not going to happen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I got, I got a crazy one. <laughs> I want to hear crazy ones. <laughs> it's kind of out there. And right. It's a real it's big it. stretch. So um, 
again, it goes back to Homelander beating off. Um, anyway, so you think my we're gonna have mutants is, in the city now? <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> well, well, the droppings, the droppings from that um, uh, evacuation uh, will fall on someone down below. Uh, just so turns out that uh, it's actually some sort of uh, a prominent scientist or something. Some somehow they get a hold of it. They take they take the uh, the that good stuff and uh, they start doing tests with it. Right, and we get some sort of abomination from from that. <laughs> you know, one of those random yeah. tangents. Whoa, that's oh, crazy! Man. I kind of wow. hope they do this now. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like it's like when Spider Man got bit by the spider, but now it's like I have a a thing full of jizz. <laughs> exactly. They're gonna make they're gonna make a. The jizz oh, baby. So you know, which, which is, I mean, I'm not gonna put it put it past you know past anything at this point. You know what I mean? Like it's totally doable. I kind of want weird and crazy. Like one of my favorite scenes is when Homelander lasered the crowd. Like I can't wait for Homelander to <laughs> get fun, to that yeah. crazy stage where he just starts like killing random people. You know, so. Uh, wasn't that a dream though? Wasn't that a dream sequence? Yeah, it was, and I, I just I think it was like teasing us what's to come for Homelander. Oh. It's like foreshadowing a little bit, yeah. Okay. Because you know, we we kind of got that moment when he goes and he fights like the the terrorist. The mm-hmm. you know, remember in in season one, he just like lasers tons of people. Oh yeah, like, without even caring. Indiscriminate. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. I I just know at one point, like you can tell when he was like telling when he was at the 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 news conference thing or whatever, and he was like telling them what was happening. They were like doing the slow zoom in on his eyes, where it's like, oh, he's losing it. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> like you know. <laughs> But I mean, technically, like he's not the bad guy right now because of like you know the circumstances. It's a very gray area, right? You know, mm. it's like the way he was brought up and molded, kind of thing. But I think, I think the company, not the company, but I think circumstances are going to push him to become the big bad. Maybe I don't know. Hmm. Or maybe he's going to do the thing where he becomes a big bad, but then he realizes the only way to save everyone is by killing himself or something like that. Or is he going to kill younglings? Is that what he's going to do? I mean, he's going <laughs> to. I'm not going to put it past Homelander, man. <laughs> We're going full Star Wars here, huh? We are, uh, execute we are. Right. Order sixty six. <laughs> 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 so we talked about in our early video, if you guys want to check that, we just talked about kind of a season two wrap up and kind of thoughts about that. But in regards to the sun, we had talked about, do you think it's going to be a bigger plot point? Do you think he's just going to be a driving force behind Butcher's motivations? If you do have any any kind of guesses on how he's going to feed into the story, how do, how do you think they're going to do that? Like, what are your guesses on that? I mean, I think the government's going to train him to become their next, you know, superhero soldier or something like that i think butcher's gonna try to stop it but then i think they're gonna see like this is gonna be the only way to stop homelander and instead of having a clone because you know in the comic book a clone is meant to destroy homelander kind of thing and they might just use his son as the clone to destroy homelander and that that would be like you know the dagger in the heart kind of thing to homelander like his own flesh and i, blood I forgot was like there a son in the comics or no i'm no expert no I'm no expert. There was okay. none. I don't think there is. Okay. Uh, because the wife died, actually, I believe. Mm. She didn't okay. survive. Okay. No expert here. Kyle's the expert. <laughs> Kyle's the expert. I know. Guys, I, I know that for. All... I know that at least. I know that little tidbit okay, of information. <laughs> so I thought it would be cool if he came back in the story in a meaningful way, but at the same time, uh, something that Nick and I were kind of talking about is you know they've introduced a lot of new characters, and when you bring in too many characters that can be a danger of okay are you going to be be able to develop the story enough and the characters enough and obviously they're kind of taking out characters and and exiting characters along the way as well but i I feel like he's not going to play a big role in season three Mm -hmm. uh if we i don't know how many seasons we're going to get but i think in the immediate future he's not going to be much of a character but you know who knows obviously but it seems like they've got enough room they could bring him in if they want but I feel like yeah. right now if it feels to me like it's going to be a plot device. They're going to bring him out if they need motivation again. But my thought of the government taking this, they're doing like witness protection type stuff, mm. except maybe even crazier because now they have like Homelander and soup, you know, people looking oh. for him, which I'm yeah. surprised they even made it to where he's able to exit just in a, in a vehicle. Like you would think that a train and Homelander and all them would be able to cover the area well enough. They could have found him if they wanted, but. Obviously, that's just yeah. story stuff. But. It's all story plot stuff. And by the way, I think they're yeah, doing five seasons 
of the boy. Oh wow! Already oh. proved five. That's cool. That's a good. That's a good point because we don't know. You know, it, well, Nick just said it's it's probably going to be five seasons. So maybe yeah, maybe we get like a lull in his development, right? It's it's like you know, like little snippets like I can fly now, <laughs> and it's like done. Right? Training it's like, montage. I can I I can lift cars now. Okay, well you know, and then finally I can, it's season I can, five. I can warm it's like, up milk you know. now. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Nick, you had to take that. Uh. All right, oh let's gosh. hear your crazy prediction now, <laughs> Kyle. Uh, yeah. So, like, again, I, I think, um, I think that uh, the kid, he's actually going to be more of uh, a guerrilla fighter. He's not going to be out in the public uh, light as much because we have we have Butcher taking care of him. Right. Um, and also, I think Butcher doesn't want a lot of government involvement, especially how he treated uh, the offer. Uh, how he, you know, he basically turned uh, like walked away from from the offer uh, of the government lady saying like, hey, like, you know, we can you can work for us again and stuff. And he just said nothing and walked away. Mm-hmm. I think that's because he has the priorities now for, for the kid um, and that he's going to sort of uh you know, train the kid in his way, which is very different than uh, the other heroes have, right? Yeah. He actually might end up being good even though he's being raised by an anti-hero. Mm. Because mm. we have seen stuff from Butcher that uh, indicates um, he does have a conscience, right? As much as he'd like to hide <laughs> it, uh, he does. Mm. Um, and uh, and he has his that canary. might come into play. Ex- exactly. And so... And so that might come into play with um, bringing up this this kid, mm. you know, um, to be something new, perhaps. Not not because remember, uh, the kid will be raised not under the purview of a corporation because that's what Bot is, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And they they raise soups uh, to a uh, um, have them gain uh, a higher corporate advantage advantage yeah um, through government and stuff like like they're doing for militaristic reasons mm-hmm. right um and also for entertainment yeah. right which is of course all all trickles down to the bottom line so yeah. he's now outside of that uh system right yeah so he's so. kind of been rescued from that so we'll see we'll see Who, who's your who's your favorite soup kyle my favorite soup yeah hmm. in hmm. In the boys universe. I don't want to be hearing Batman, <laughs> Superman kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, I would actually have to say it's Starlight. Oh, very good. Uh, because, I, because I think that she is going to have her moment to a shine. New, a new plateau of her power. Oh, damn. I hope <laughs> nice so. pun there, though. That did not go unrecognized. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really she needs hope, something because she really is just she falling does flat right like, now. I just feel like they they gave her the short end of the sticks when it came to powers. <laughs> like she can only get powered by a car battery or something. It's just like, oh my gosh, why does she carry batteries on her then? You know what I mean? Like like in Avatar: huh. The Last Airbender, Katara always had water on her, right? Because she never knew when she would have to like fight. She always had a little pouch of water. She needs like oh, double right. A batteries. You know, you know, nine double A batteries. <laughs> just like quick little charge punches. <laughs> Like a, a and they could just rename her from Starlight to Energizer Bunny. You know, she just says, "Get going, you know." But I, I just, I want her to do more than pop, pop light bulbs. Like I get, I get, she gets like, <laughs> and like light bulbs pop, pop all over the place. But like, I really wanted her to like get a charge from Stormfront. The perfect that would be like the perfect display to to give her a moment where she just like punches back with all the energy and stuff like that. And now we've we've seen at. So she hasn't just popped light bulbs, right? I mean, we've seen her like use concussive blasts with with her light, right? So oh, I mean, I forgot. on on humans though, like she sucks against any mm. soups. Like a train, a <laughs> train just like ran right up to her face and was like about to. I thought during her fight with Black Noir, she she knocked him back multiple times. I remember her those... just getting tossed left and right. <laughs> huh? I just yeah, because I could have sworn she like basically not. Huh? 
She was like, I know. I was I was even telling Joe, like, why why doesn't she just blind him by turning on all the lights like super bright and get away or something? I just it was bugging me so much that like she wasn't doing anything. Even with that fight, like every fight she's been in with the soup, I've always just been like, oh, my gosh, just kick his butt. Like you're you're a member of the <laughs> seven. Like, uh, I mean, she could probably kick what's his name's butt the deep everyone could probably kick the deeps butt but, <laughs> <laughs> but i don't know i just i i like her character a lot and i just want her to be strong you know what i mean i just really right. want her to be able to kick butt and it's just like so frustrating to me that she's only been she, tossed around lately she would be a good analog for the um new depths of power trope mm. right like like basically She's she's you know she's at a certain plateau and then she goes wait a minute if I apply myself a little more or or I manipulate my power a little bit this way through my own ability I can reach an, another level yeah. right but it, we haven't seen any of that yet so you don't know, know it w- it would be cool to actually see the heroes train and and explore their own powers because it feels like all they do is sit around all day <laughs> it, doesn't, it, doesn't, <laughs> doesn't, it doesn't even feel like they even go on missions or do anything you know what i mean it literally feels around like feels like they sit around all day waiting for homelander to go do something or something like that like it would, yeah. would be cool to see more testing of powers or her you know because we've seen we've seen queen mave like fighting people mm-hmm. and then we saw the daredevil guy that homelander took out by slapping his ears oh my gosh <laughs> Oh that yeah, I hilarious. forgot as well. Yeah, slap in the ears. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that was so funny. So I, I mean, I really hope next season Starlight really gets to shine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I really want, I really want her to succeed. But do you think they're gonna allow the Deep back in? What, what's gonna happen with the Deep? Is the Deep coming back in? Is he the head of the church now? I mean, what's going so on? So that's with the going to be a fun one because at the end of it, he was just completely getting, you know, the short end of the stick. He didn't get back in the stuff. He's like, I even married a woman for you guys. And then, then he's basically tough. I think you need to leave right now. And the assumption that I had was they were going to make him sound bad. Like they did the other guy, the guy that had the, 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 the arrows and stuff, but then the president's head got popped of the church. So it's like, okay, now it's going to happen with that. But I feel like the deep. Hey, hang in there, buddy. Your 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 time to shine is coming up. You're my favorite character. Just stick in there, all right. Your gills keep talking to him, all right? <laughs> I think so. I think you're right, John. I. Uh, so you guys I think he's going to be back in the seven? No, no I don't think so. Yeah, he's I think that to... was. Yeah, go ahead, Kyle. Oh no, sorry. Uh, he's 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 going to be so, he's going to be something of his own. I don't know what though exactly, but I think yeah. Maybe he'll start. Yeah, his the own deep's kind of been called fresh guy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems like he's really been trying to. So he got kicked out of the seven. Then he was part of this church, and he was pretty indoctrinated. And now he kind of found out they didn't really care what was going on with him as well. Mm-hmm. And when he was trying to get back into the seven or trying to meet up with them, Homelander's like, "Oh, cover up your gills! They're disgusting." So it's like he's finding out he doesn't really belong anywhere, which well, is kind of fun. We know he's, Homelander hates one of the him. Reasons. He had his son practice yes. target lasers with a deep yeah. action finger. <laughs> <laughs> which is awesome wow. maybe that's one of the reasons why he's one of my favorite characters because he he's one of those characters at least frodo and sam know where they're going they're going to mortar like the deep you don't even know where he's trying to go he thinks he knows where he's going to go but he doesn't know so it's kind of funny that's so funny frodo and sam going to mordor <laughs> <laughs> he's he's someone who doesn't he well he's someone who doesn't know his place in the world exactly yeah and so yeah. we're kind of lost with him you know maybe but that gives you a character you can relate to ocean land <laughs> you know that's true it, i you know that's actually true he's a fish out of water yeah. pardon the pun but that's but uh, funny, yeah but that's the thing is is uh he he can like you know uh, what was it when he went to the uh when his powers first manifested he like talked to a goldfish and he, and, 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 and he found out like you know he realizes that animals actually are sentient right yeah. uh, and that it's this whole other world that no one else uh really recognizes or even is aware of or or even cares about right yeah, exactly. <laughs> I what, 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 I forgot the line he said to Queen Maeve. He's like, "Oh, I had a halibut looking for the case." Yeah, or whatever. The mackerel were telling me all <laughs> the this. Mackerel, stuff. Yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. such a good character. Oh man, he's so yeah, good. So good. Oh man, I I can't wait to see more of the deep. I really hope Black Noir is okay. I hope the the, the peanuts <laughs> weren't too much. I I I love 
whenever he's on screen because it's either the scariest thing or the funniest thing is going to happen, right? Like, you don't know if he's going to rip off someone's head or if he's going to just, like, be making tea or something. You know what I mean? He's always, like, doing something so <laughs> random. And I think one of my favorite lines was when Homelander was pissed at, at Stormfront <laughs> or whatever. He's like, yeah, I was going over lines with Black with, 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 <laughs> black, with, with black Noir. It's like, oh, my gosh, he doesn't even talk. <laughs> it's kind of the inside joke. And they're like, so who on, on the seven, who's the biggest prank? He's like, well, we're not naming names. Black Noir. <laughs> 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 I'm really excited. Oh, fun, fun theory. Who is Black Noir? John has a great mm. theory where he thinks it's the president's son or something. That was a really passive close. thought, but I'm not, I'm not going to say I that. Actually, that's my theory, I actually but... kind of believe that because he listens to him like like a watchdog mm. kind of thing. Or like, you know what mm. I mean? Like he's like, does, stop, yeah. do this, don't do this. He had the camera on him too. And like mm. in, in able to have like that much influence on someone is like a lot of mm. like – mind training and stuff and especially if it's like related to them where it's like his dad or something like that or even a, what if it's mm-hmm. a clone of him or something like that i don't know i'm, I'm just modified saying like, person that could be interesting yeah that could be I, interesting. Just, I think i guess the be only fun... thing i guess that's the only thing that makes that makes that a hard option is that we know who the actor is for him you know it's like okay are you just going to swap him out when he's supposed to be this guy or is he just going to be a buffer version of the president's guy and you know they're going to do face swapping or something i don't know Never know. Yeah, mm. Maybe they'll though. do some deep fakes. Give, deep fakes. Give, give, give John a call. He's an expert at deep fakes. <laughs> we have no experts on this show whatsoever. Okay, guys. Except for John. <laughs> Except for Kyle, our special guest today. I like how we keep on passing the uh, the expert mantle around. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants it. No one no. wants it. Yeah. Any other fun theories or stuff that we're missing from the boys, guys? Oh, you know what? We we could talk uh, about the group. Do you think the group's going to yeah. get get back together right away? You think the boys are going to be like, hey, something's going down. Who are you going to call? The boys. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> no, we're, we're going we're gonna to get probably a few episodes where they're kind of off doing their own thing. Because we saw yeah. at the last episode, they're kind of going off into their own mm. you know areas, right? And uh, mm. it's probably going to take a few episodes or maybe even like a season of them kind of slowly coming back mm. together and reassembling. <clears throat> But and maybe maybe they'll be seeing things from their vantage, mm, right? Yeah. And just like oh my gosh, you know, like all all the stuff that might transpire in season three, and then they through happens perhaps through happenstance or like orchestration they come back together. So that's right. an interesting this is an interesting conversation topic because from story standpoints and writing standpoints you can get to different ideas or thoughts on that. What do you think, Nick? Do you think they're huh. gonna? Hold on. I just, I, sorry, I just took a sip of water. <clears throat> Hurry up, man. Gosh, um, you don't have all day. I think it's going to be Huey. Huey's in the middle of mm-hmm. the fire, right? You know, he's like, out of the frying pan and into the fire. You know what I mean? Like, you know, he's like in the... He joined the, up with the congresswoman having no idea what's going on. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> but, like, I feel like it's going to be him, like, like goofy or, you know, just clumsily finding out information. Like, oh, my gosh, wait a minute. You know, like, you know... Accidents happen with Huey, you know, and Huey's probably going to get involved and try to get a hold of Butcher and Butcher's going to be off the map. So maybe it'll be kind of mm-hmm. a, a repeat of season two where he kind of maybe he gets Frenchie first and then they'll get mm-hmm. Mother's Milk and then finally Butcher will come in to save the day. We'll be like, what are y'all, yeah, Huey, what are y'all yeah. looking around for? Whatever. <laughs> you know, <it's> like, <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right because Huey kind of is the common thread between all of them. I mean, you, you get the idea that Mother's Milk and Butcher, Mother's Milk would rather have nothing to do with them. Frenchie kind of was off on his own thing, but whereas Huey kind of has not commonalities, but he's he's a soft spot for everybody, yeah. and obviously uh, a Starlight as well. Um, my thought, as far as the boys being a group, is for series and episode ratings. Like we just want to see them as a group. That's where all the fun comes from. So my mm-hmm. thought is they split them up at the end of this season to give you almost like a cliffhanger. Like the Congresswoman didn't have a lot of intro she just all of a sudden was there at the end as as the pe- pe- person was popping heads so my thought is to get them back into a group it's probably gonna be huey i think that's a good that's a good strong theory it has to be right with that congresswoman yeah, yeah it has to be huey. i feel like huey brought them all together in the first place yeah yeah you know what i mean yes but i i feel like that's going to need to happen quickly i, I my guess it's going to feel really rushed because they need mm. to get them back together in order for the chemistry of the show to kind of work mm. but maybe Kyle's right an episode or two could feel 
Yeah. Not too rushed. But it also depends on how many episodes we have next season. Because first season, do we have 10, 10 episodes or do we have eight I episodes? don't know, but season mm. two, I was super bummed was when I didn't see Butcher yeah. until like episode three or something like that. I was just like, oh my <laughs> yeah, gosh, so, this show is uh, dragging on without Butcher. Like, come on, give me yeah, Butcher. Yeah, so that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot that he wasn't around the first couple episodes and it didn't feel the same without the, the boys together. That's the whole name of the show. So I feel like they're going to rush that to get back together. But at the same time, an episode or two, you know, they've definitely taken their time in developing certain plot points, but yeah. So, you know, I just realized Mother's Milk is the only character who doesn't have a soup companion right now. Hmm. Huey has has Starlight. Uh, Frenchie has has uh, the the lady, the the, the girl, right? The, yeah, name? the girl. And then you know, Butcher has has the kid. Hmm. Mother's Milk. That's he's, he's left hanging. What's going on? Mother's Milk, just that name alone is epic and superhero That's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> so in That's the, true. In, in the comic books, the way he got his name Mother's Milk is he was able to take a little bit of V every now and then to get oh. a boost of power. Oh, oh. Yeah. I didn't so, know that. So in, in, in the comic books, too, um, the boys actually take a little bit of V to get power boost to kick superheroes butts like big time because they're mm. they're like they're like trained right they're like military trained you know where they they know how to fight mm, and stuff mm. so once they they have v most superheroes just because they have powers in the in in the comic books they really don't know how to fight because they're like i have yeah. superpowers what's the point of learning how to fight yeah, you know yeah. what i mean right so once mm. the boys get powers they just like massacre cure like all the superheroes it's just like <laughs> it's like not it's like not even fair like these kids are like ah, like arms are being broken and all this stuff is going on but yeah, yeah. Nice. so i mean i mean it almost, may, maybe we'll oh, see a play of that in the next couple maybe they'll they'll start mm-hmm. taking v to you know start fighting back the against the heroes and the terrorists and stuff and that would be a fun thing to have in the series because I mean, it's almost artificial that the boys aren't all dead at this point because they're so outmatched and outgunned. But that's kind of the fun of it is yeah, they're it is. totally outmatched and outgunned. They have to hide underground. Whereas it sounds like if they're going to go the comic route, which they may not, obviously, with Black Noir, that shows that they're willing to stray from that. Mm-hmm. But if they follow the comics at all, I feel like that would kind of take a little bit of the fun away from them. Because like, okay, at any given point, they could become just as powerful and now they don't have to hide and stuff anymore. But it seems like they kind of have to go down that road at some point if they're ever going to be able to actually stop the soups if that's what their goal is but i don't know maybe that that's what the sun's there for right and i really honestly don't want the series to turn into a superhero show the whole fun of it is the comedy and and you know it's just like yeah sorry kyle go ahead no yeah i mean i think if we if, if we think about it um the reason why uh the boys are the boys and why uh they're doing so well i think is because narratively they're 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 human right mm-hmm. um we've we've seen every one of them being capable of of uh you know very deep emotion and conscious and, and like um uh conscience right mm-hmm. um and they've all managed to to win people over to their side right i mean that's why they each have like a, a soup companion is because uh sure it you know it's great to have superpowers but if you're a dick what's the point <laughs> right like you know um uh i as we've as you've been shown with uh, quite a few uh, soups so far, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. What do you guys think is going to happen with A Train? So A mm-hmm. A Train had mm-hmm. such a good character development. I feel like I feel like his character as a superhero really, it just mm-hmm. I, I like how he's like we know he's in it for the money, and but you know he's, there's like an addiction issue there too and stuff, and then it's like is he really a good guy? No, he's really just playing for his own safety, right? Mm-hmm. What do you yeah. think is going to happen? next season because i feel like morals are going to come to play with the seven right because like queen queen Mm -hmm. maves kind of already done this with the end of the season right she acts like she doesn't Mm -hmm. care but yet she's there and she also gives her piece of you know her like you know her what i don't know what you would call it but her like best piece of evidence to shut homelander up right and she uses it to save Mm -hmm. Which is so weird. Which is to say, Butcher. Like, I think it's so funny. Like, does she met Butcher? <laughs> <laughs> but you I've know, got I... a, <laughs> I've got a prediction about A Train. Ooh, I want to hear it. Uh, uh, so, so I think uh, we're either going to see him really lean into being a gray character, mm-hmm. in terms of he he has both uh, you know self interested intent, but but also can 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 do some good. Mm-hmm. Um, 
and we also might get some more of his relationship with his brother oh. uh, and his and his family life right mm. um especially now that he's back on the seven mm. right that's right i um, forgot he was back on the seven yeah yeah so so i'm i'm really curious about that we might learn more about his his family life yeah. maybe mm. i mean i'd like to see i would like to see more of the backstories of some of these characters yeah. how they ended up the way they yeah did yeah that that's one of the fun parts is when you get i mean any of the characters, not just the people in the seven, but when you got yeah. a little bit of Mother's Milk, his dad and stuff, you're like, oh, okay, we get a little. And I hope they just continue to sprinkle that in. But, you know, A-Train is, is a fun character. Um, is, was there anything you wanted to say, Kyle? Sorry. No, can, please continue. Okay. Yeah, with, with A-Train, I th- I don't know when it's going to happen, but my thought is they're eventually going to have. So the big thing at the beginning of this season is he wasn't getting to write his own ending, right? They were oh, writing yeah. an ending for him to exit the seven and he didn't like that. And so my thought is, at least from a story standpoint, not from like a, a like thinking about the universe, because of Amazon story arc. I think he's going to end up dying because of his heart. They've already hinted at that so much that to just completely write that off and not address that anymore, I think would not be serving the story they've told. Mm. I think he's going to die off, but I think he's going to die off for a good kind of more, mm. not heroic reason, but you've seen him do relatively good things. You've seen he's not just a bad guy, but he's not above doing bad things to, to yeah. serve his own, own effort. So I think he's going to go out. He's going to go out in a good way. And in that regard, he's, kind of fulfilling his arc he's able to write his own ending that's a really good point that's really i mean it's makes it makes sense as far as a story arc but the cool thing about the boys is they're not limiting themselves to just regular story arcs whether it's comics or otherwise they're out to kind of shock you a little bit almost like game of thrones right it's Mm. true and you know what's so Mm. interesting he was like in homelander's back pocket in season one Mm. he was running Mm -hmm. the drugs around you know homelander was kind of bossing him around telling him what to do so maybe with the info queen mave has maybe it'll be nice that maybe we'll see the seven as the seven where Homelander's not like controlling everyone this time. Maybe they're going to be able mm-hmm. to have more freedom with how they do things and what they can say and stuff compared to Homelander trying to con- control the narrative like he was doing this past season where he was just trying mm-hmm. to tell people what to say. Yeah, he has no idea how the Internet works. He's just like, I'm up in points today. <laughs> it's just like, what? Like, what? He's like, what's a meme? You know what I mean? This is like, oh, great. This guy's leading the, the, this guy's leading the social media charge. Wonderful. <laughs> you know, it's like, he doesn't even have a computer. <laughs> so as far as Homelander, when do you guys think, and if he's going to, when do you think he's going to go off the rails? Do you think this is happening next season, later on down the road? Do you think he's going to go in a different direction other than that? I think by the end of season three like that's going to be like the big what the heck you know we feel like at the end of every season we get a big like whoa kind of moment i feel like homelander's gonna he's gonna he's probably gonna do things maybe it won't be public yet but he's gonna Mm -hmm. he's gonna he's gonna pop maybe he'll kill queen queen mave you know what i mean and be like i don't care about your evidence or whatever or something like Mm -hmm. that maybe Mm -hmm. he's just gonna get tired of people kind of trying to control him and maybe he's gonna go and kill everyone that's trying to you know, yeah, because that's already things we almost already were thinking. Is at the end of season two, Nick thought Homelander was going to go off the, the end, or he just hint that, and then season three would be all about that. That didn't happen. But then also, we both thought that when Queen Maeve showed that evidence, we thought that he was going to just laser her arm and say, you know, whatever, do whatever you want. I don't care. He really cares. So about maybe his those thoughts, image, was, though. He really does. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Kyle? Yeah. So, so that's an interesting. Um, hmm prediction because you know i was kind of leaning more towards him actually developing towards being a more benevolent character Mm -hmm. um so but that but that would be interesting in terms of a of a of a narrative standpoint right he you know he goes off the deep end at the end of season three Mm -hmm. right um and and so it got me thinking as to might push him over the edge right what's the you know what so so we already have a build-up but but we know he's not quite there yet it might have something to do with the sun mm. right there might be something else that happens um that like he gets confirmation that his son has absolutely nothing to do with wants mm. absolutely nothing to do with him mm. Mm. right that or, um, or something gets leaked some footage gets leaked hmm. and public opinion turns on uh, him. And then he's like, what else do I have to live for if everyone hates me <laughs> kind of thing? Because like, cause when, he, when he's able to choose to save his son or you know, kill Butcher or whatever so he can take his son or the new or or, or one GoPro video, video footage 
of somehow miraculously <laughs> able to capture their audio from the back of the plane of clearly of him saying leave everyone there. <laughs> but and I'm just saying, but you know that gets leaked. Like you would you would think like his son was more important to him than that, but it's not. Mm-hmm. So like the most important thing to him is his public image. And if something got leaked and the rest of the world hates him, I think that's just you know, why why yeah, why keep up the the act anymore? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. Woo! I'm so excited for season three, guys. What about you? Woo, 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 woo. Come on, boys. We got another year. Yeah. <laughs> if that, once they can film because of quarantine. Woo. <laughs> if you guys oh, no. enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more boys content. We also are going through Raised by Wolves. We're going to be covering Mandalorian season two. So subscribe for great content. Me and John review every episode after it airs. We're on it. We talk about it. Binga booga boom. And we're there. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's what it sounds like, but he's kind of right. We do cover all that stuff. So you guys check out as that space for all the audio and video links. Thank you to Kyle, our special guest. Be sure to follow Kyle. He has amazing artwork and a lot of cool sci-fi stuff. He's also working on a cool little novel. Follow him to stay updated on Instagram. And we'll leave all the links underneath. And we'll see you on the next as art.